Okay, this video is going to show you how to match up a story problem with an equation. This is a super easy task for you to do. There's no math computation involved. All we're going to do is look for three key things and match them up. So a basic equation is going to follow this format for us. We're going to have some number being multiplied and then we're either going to add or subtract one number by itself. And what we're going to do is when you are reading a story problem, you're going to look for some clue words and they're going to identify for you. Here's our clue words. We're going to identify for you um, it, if it says each, if it says per, or if it says every. These are three keywords that help you know that something's being repeated and it's going to occur many times. That means you're going to end up multiplying with those. If it gets repeated, clue words are every, per, and each. Then there will also be a one-time amount. Um, some clue words for that could be if there's a fee. It might say that you had a certain amount, or it could say there's a balance, or it could say that you also start with. And that's going to tell you your one-time amount, which would represent the, the number that's being added or subtracted at the end. Okay, so here's an equation we're going to look at. It says 5x minus 12 is 32. When you look at this, the number that's being multiplied or repeated a whole bunch um, is your 5. Whoops. 5 is going to be your number that gets repeated. And then 12 is going to be the number that only happens one time. It could also be a starting amount. And then 32 is going to be our total. Alright, so I'm going to scoot that out of the way a tiny bit. And we're going to bring up the first, first story problem. It is letter A for you guys who have this sheet. When we read through this, it says the temperature begins at 12 degrees below zero and falls 5 degrees each hour to reach 32 degrees. How many hours did it take the temperature to reach 32 degrees? Well, I'm going to start looking at the numbers that it gives me. And it says something begins 12 degrees below zero. So that's going to be my one time starting amount. That's going to be in the place of letter B for our format. Then as I keep reading, um, the next thing says um, and falls 5 degrees each hour. That definitely means it's going to be repeating, and I know this because of this clue word each right here. And then the word falls means it's going to be negative because it's going down. So 5 is going to be in the place of letter N. And the last thing, it tells us our total, which is 32 degrees. When I start putting this together, B was 12 degrees below zero. If it's below zero, that means negative. So that's going to be minus 12. Then when you keep reading, we said falls 5 degrees each hour. That means I'm going to multiply. But the word falls was really super important. And falls means it goes down. So that's also negative. And then our final part was equals 32. I'm going to look at this and see if it matches. 5x in the original equation up here at the top was a positive number. 5x down here in this scenario was negative because it said falls 5 degrees each hour. So that means this one is not correct. This answer choice would be wrong because it says, because it gives us the um, wording for negative 5x. That makes it wrong. 
All right, let's put that one away. I'm going to look at scenario B. This story problem says the temperature begins at 12 degrees below zero and rises 5 degrees each hour to reach 32 degrees. How many hours did it take the temperature to reach 32 degrees? Reading through this, just like last time, we have begins at 12 degrees below zero. So that tells me this is going to be the B. And it says below zero, so that means negative. Then when I keep reading, it says rises 5 degrees each hour. Rises is going to be positive. And it says each hour. That means the 5 is going to take the place of M. And then our last and final thing was the total is 32 degrees. When we go to fit this one in there, if you look at the B, again, 12 degrees below zero is minus 12. Then when you get to the next part, it says rises 5 degrees each hour. Rises means it's a positive. That means 5x. And then we end up with 32 degrees equals 32. If I'm matching this, the original equation said positive 5x. We have that for rising 5 degrees. Minus 12. Our minus 12 was represented by saying below 0. And then we both have 32 for the n. So this one looks like it matches up correctly. I'm going to give this one a check mark because I'm pretty sure this one's right. But I'm still going to check the last two just to get some practice of looking at the situation. Alrighty, answer choice C. I'm going to read through. The temperature begins at 5 degrees. Okay, that's my starting amount, and it's positive. That means my one-time amount is 5, so I'm going to put plus 5. Then I'm going to keep reading. This one says falls, whoops, it says falls 5 degrees, I mean, goodness gracious, falls 12 degrees each hour. That's going to tell me it said each hour, and it said falls. That's going to be the M, but because it says falls 12, that means negative 12x each hour. And then again, the same thing, um, it equals 32 as the previous ones. And just to show that, it's right there. All right, we look at what we have. 5x is supposed to be positive. This one doesn't even have 5x because it said it began at 5 degrees. It didn't say anything about 5 each hour. So this one automatically now is going to be incorrect. And this one's going to be incorrect for both situations. The 12 and the 5 are mixed up and they're not correct. Okay, that answer choice has been looked at. And the last one, when you read through this, it says the temperature begins at 5 degrees. Okay, that's going to be my letter B, my first starting amount, and it said begins at 5, so that's plus 5. Then the next portion says rises 12 degrees each hour. Um, it's definitely the M because it says each, and then rises lets me know that that's a positive 12, so I have 12x. And last but not least, it ends with 32 because that was the final temperature. And I'm just going to highlight it to show where it is in the problem. When you look at this one and you go up, 5 is supposed to have the X. This time, 5 does not have the X. So it's totally wrong again. I'm going to X this one out. That one's wrong. The one we ended up picking that matched everything the way it was supposed to be was answer choice B. It began at 12 degrees below zero. That matched with negative 12. And then it said it rises 5 degrees each hour, which would represent 5x. Really, that's all you guys have to do. Um, just to recap, you want to make sure that you get 
your one time. Look for what's happening one time. Look for what's being repeated. And then make sure if it's positive or negative. And that's it.